What is the best way to choose the perfect laptop for coding for programming? So in today's video, we are going to talk about things that you should be looking at when you are picking a laptop for programming and for coding. What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software engineer living in New York City and I am also a part-time content creator who is currently trying to help you to learn how to code and keep up with web development and all things about tech. And let's talk about what you actually need when you're looking into buying a computer or a laptop. So the first thing that you have to look into is memory and it's also known as RAM, R-A-M. Memories and RAMs are important because it stores as much of information as you can for your computer. Just imagine that the bigger the bucket, the more amount of stuff that you can put into the bucket. The general rule of thumb is that if you're a web developer, you might not need as high of a RAM as comparing to game developers or even mobile developers because for game developers and mobile developers, they might need to run the simulator in the background to be able to you know virtualizing what is going on so it might need a higher storage of RAM. The second most important part of looking into a computer for programming or for content creation is the processing power. So the faster the processing power the better your computer is going to perform. If you want to look for the best possible processing power for programming I would say that like i5 cord or i7 cord should be enough. The rule of thumb is that the higher the number of i cord, the better. So obviously if you can look for something that is higher, that might be better. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is graphic cards and I know that right now there's a huge shortage of looking for really good graphic cards. In my opinion for programming, if you're not a designer or if you're not a game developer, you don't necessarily need a really good graphic cards. And for me personally, I am not really a gamer. I would say that if you're a gamer, if you're a designer, it's definitely worth investing more money into the graphic cards. In general, MacBook Pro has a pretty good graphic card already, so you really don't need to think too much about upgrading a graphic card. However, I do think that if you have the extra money to upscale your graphic cards, it's definitely worth the investment to purchase for a better graphic cards. The fourth thing is battery life. Battery life is really depending on your preference, and I know that for some laptops when you're purchasing it, asking you to pay extra money for battery life feel like you don't really need to consider to pay so much for a higher battery life. I think that if a computer can run up to you know three hours of battery life, that should be enough for you. But I also think that in some cases, if you're working a lot remotely, like at the coffee shop or a library or somewhere that you don't get access to the outlet a lot, it's important important or I think at least is worth to invest into getting a better battery life for your computer. Another thing that is important is your comfort level and I think that a lot of times when you're purchasing a laptop you're not thinking about just coding within that laptop. For example, I do have a external monitor that links to my laptop. So when I'm coding at home, I have extra monitor space for me to really expand my coding IDEs and all my co-editors all across different monitors. And that really helps me to code when I'm trying to see everything all at once. You don't have to necessarily get like a huge laptop for you. You can get a smaller one and then hook it up with a external monitor and then you can get that extra screen space for yourself. If you are curious about my desktop setups and things that I use to help me to boost my productivity, um, I have a video over here that links you to all my setups and things that I talked about including my standing desk, my chair, my external monitor, my mouse, and all those good things. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!